I'm Archie Jacobs with Manufacturing Automation. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of our flagship software products known as Advanced HMI. With this software, you can easily create a human-machine interface, also known as an HMI. In this video, I'm going to discuss two aspects of the software. The first being which hardware can it communicate with, and the other being which hardware can the final application actually run on. Now, on that side of the table, you'll see a large sample of devices which Advanced HMI can communicate with. Starting with the devices that are most popular with Advanced HMI users is the Allen Bradley line of PLCs. And that includes the PLC5, the Control Logics, the Compact Logics, the Slick 500, the Micro Logics, and all the way down to the Micro 800 series. Next is the Beckhoff Twin Cat 2 based controllers, such as this CX8090 I have on the display board. After that are the Omron controllers, anything that supports FINS or host link protocols, such as the CP1H, the C200 series, or the CS1 series. And finally, the other devices are the devices that support either Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP, such as this low cost PLC from Automation Direct called the Click PLC. Now Modbus not only talks to PLCs, but since it's an open popular protocol, it also talks directly to devices such as this temperature controller that supports Modbus RTU directly. Now that could also include things such as frequency drives, servo drives, and even just basic I.O. So now back to the other side, I want to talk about the items, the hardware in which advanced HMI applications will run directly on. Now when you use advanced HMI to create an application, the final result is a .NET executable file. Now what that means is that it can run on anything that has Windows 7, 8, or 10, which obviously would be laptops or desktop computers, but not so obvious would be something such as an industrial panel PC that runs Windows, such as this touchscreen model, a micro PC, such as this one that runs Windows 10, a tablet, such as this one, which is also running Windows 10, and popular amongst the hobbyists, the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're familiar with the Raspberry Pi, you may know that it runs Linux and not Windows. Since Advanced HMI is a .NET uh, application, you can actually run it on Linux or Mac iOS using the Mono framework. Now, one last thing I want to mention is the large screen TV behind me. Now, this television is connected to a micro PC running Windows 10. And since it runs Windows, it can run an advanced HMI application, such as this demo you see here of a large production display. Now, this concludes the topics I want to discuss in this video. You can go to www.advancedhmi.com and download a base package of Advanced HMI, which is a completely free version, not a demo, not a trial. Um, in future videos, I'm going to dive into the software and actually show how easy it is to use the software. On the website, you can also get a quick start guide that will have you up and running in minutes. So I hope I've piqued your interest and you look forward to our other videos.